Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Kimo's Lock here. Here on a Wednesday, Wednesday, November 16th, 2016, and yes, it's another one of these vlogs. Hello everybody, welcome back for a night chat. Hello everybody, and another one of these, I haven't shot one of these in a good long while, so I thought I'd do one, um, just here up in my room for another night chat and there's a lot to talk about and i will help to make this announcement guys i talked to nintendo north america and guys i may not be able to let's play pokemon sun when it comes out um and the reason why i'm doing that i'm going to remove it from my channel uh oh yes but i am going to say for those of you who want to play it two days left guys two days left I'm definitely going to be playing it when it comes out. Um, guys, I talked to them and Pokemon North America said, no, uh, we don't want you doing it because we've had trouble with you in the past. And um, for those of you who aren't aware, I had a Pokemon. I had a video from Animal Crossing to try that out. And they said, no, we're going to shoot it down. Please take it off. They come to me. I emailed them. I emailed YouTube. I since destroyed the email because YouTube told me to destroy, you know how companies are. Um, YouTube does a good business. YouTube does a good business. I like I like I like YouTube and I like Nintendo. So I'm not gonna go up against the Western. So guys, I'm not gonna be let's playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, so I'm gonna change my banner. Which means I'll still keep playing play Pokemon Y, and yeah, sorry about that, guys. I have to do that, and I'm probably going to change it back to my normal. Um, I'm probably going to have to come up with another banner and everything. Um, guys, the reason why I want to do it, because, you know, I'm not well known. Like, I only have, like, 700 views, not subscribers. Well, for those of you guys who know, I have, like, 990 subscribe uh views and i like nine subscribers so i'm not gonna really do that if i had more exposure i'd do that and yeah that's that so i just feel it's not right for me to um go against the wishes of a corporation i guess in a sense and yeah so when i come off this vlog this night chat i'm going to stop uh, posting anything like that and Pokemon Y will continue um, So guys, I actually am going to continue Pokemon Y uh, possibly um, In the next week Because um, I just don't feel like going through a legal battle with Nintendo over that and I uh, I'm gonna point you to Abdullah Smash um, I'm gonna point you to Abdullah Smash um, Munching orange and uh, some people who are more, because I just want to do vlogs, guys. I don't want to get this channel taken down. Um, so I'll still get Pokemon Y out to you guys, but I don't know what. I'll, and the reason part of that is I want to finish Pokemon Y. The story's getting good. I don't want to put it on a hiatus. And I kind of want to enjoy Pokemon Sun for myself. I'm going to get Pokemon Moon. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm actually going to stick with my original thing that I'm actually going to just play Pokemon Y to its entirety and just get it done because I kind of want to enjoy Sun. It, this could be this could be my last Pokemon games. Um, and I don't think my trailer was getting any views, so uh, I probably need 10, 15, maybe I probably need 50 views, maybe even 100, maybe even 200, maybe even 4,000 to 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 warn a let's play all right enough about me enough about the let's play um let's talk about what's happening in the world right now guys and what what, what we need to do and so let's recap so what happened um so what happened six days eight days ago well we had the election and we had the candidates one who was hated because one who was hated on one level, one who was hated on another. Um, so now we got a deal. So now, of course, as you guys know, now eight days later, 
Trump is our president elect. And um, I've been reading the news, guys, and um, I know Obama's call for peace and everything, but I want to share my views on this and just a, it's kind of a, just kind of my look at this and my views on what's been happening lately. So guys, I'm just going to tell you guys right off the bat, I'm not for any party. I'm a centrist. It means I don't either favor Republicans or Democrats. I favor any party that gets in that needs to get in or wants to get in, but I don't favor any particular party. I feel that's wrong to do that. And, um, it's just really what I want to do. So for those of you who are unaware, uh, Trump's election is president elect. Obviously there's a bunch of people out there that are not happy about that right now. Uh, I can understand your pain because I went through that with uh, Obama and his um, and his uh, election. But I really, but you didn't really see too many people protest, did you? I'm hearing crickets out there. Nobody did. I don't think anybody wanted to because everybody was like, oh, it's the first black president. And, you know, a lot of people, I did a video of this. I did this night chat probably, I don't know, probably, this is night chat number 35, I think. Yeah, it's night chat number 35. And um, I kind of hit a points that really, really, really uh, hit on a bunch of points that kind of hit on what's just been happening in this country over the last couple of um, couple of years and everything, you know, in, you know, uh, for those of you who do not support Trump and for those of you who are questioning his authority, don't think he can run the country, think he's too blast, think he's too loud, um, he may be, but didn't we say, it wasn't there a bunch of people, myself included, who thought, you know, Obama may not be able to do this. And a lot of people at that time told me, you got to see what he's going to do first. He hasn't gotten in office. Now, did Obama's presidency create anything? Not really. It was ho-hum. It was like any other president. I don't really see the fascination people have with him and why they liked to, why they wanted to vote for him. It really wasn't anything special. I mean, he's just the president of the United States. There really anything special about the president, really, other than that he's the leader of the free world, right? Um, but Obama did some good things. I mean, he restored the he helped restore the automotive industry. I'll give him that one. Um, he sort of got the ball rolling for universal health care, which we needed in this country, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully what Trump and the rest of the Democrat, uh, rest of the uh, political elite can do, just not the Republicans, the Democrats and the Republicans can come together and figure out what to do with Obamacare. Rename it, rename it, retool, retool it, whatever you need to do to make it successful, because I think it's a good idea. It just needs to be redone. Whatever, whatever they need to do, it just needs to be redone, and it pains me to see that people think that oh, that Trump will trash the America we had. Um, my question to everybody else: What type of America do we have? When do we have now? It's not the America I remember. It's 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 a shade of its former self. I remember back in 2003, 4, 5, 6, this country was great. People were making money. People were doing well. Businesses were doing well. And 2007, 2008 came around. The credit card crunch happened. The housing market crashed. 
everybody released their mortgages and all that other crap happened and Freddie Mac and Freddie Mae went under went under uh, went under siege because of some politics by a certain Massachusetts uh, senator or I can't really call him a senator or maybe a representative I forget what But it, uh, I'm just, just hear me out. You know, everybody has their, everybody is tied to their own opinion. I'm not saying that Obama's presidency was right. I'm not saying that it was wrong. I'm just saying, you know what, uh, take with, take with what uh, Trump has in his skill set and what he's done over the past couple of years and what he's done, what he's done as a businessman, what he, what, what his failures were, what his successes were. Take those into account and see what he's done. Is he a little, could he be, could he be a little celebrity-like? Yeah, he can, but, you know, a lot of people will mistake that for enthusiasm to be an American. You never know. Um, am I self-centered because I want to be, because I want the country to get better? Or... Do I want a president that's going to do all the stuff that he says he's going to do? No. Just a regular innocent old guy, you know. Here, uh, here trying to uh, work his way through life and make a living and try to create a life for himself and try to um, help others, of course, which is my ultimate goal. Um, but yeah, guys, just, just take it with a grain of salt. The reason why I say this is because we spend our energy on things that we shouldn't be spending our energy on. And um, we have a much bigger fight than just, you know, fighting over some guy who we don't think is going to succeed. Is he going to succeed? Is Trump going to succeed? Or is he going to flop? Or is he going to fail? We don't know. We'll have to see what the next four, maybe eight years will say. I'm going to say four years for Trump. Four years tops. Unless he gets impeached. I don't know. But... Um, I just want you guys to really, really, really think. For those who actually voted for him, um, you guys obviously voted him not because you liked him, but because he's saying the things and he's probably, and he's going to do the things that we need to have done. People didn't vote him because he was popular. People didn't vote him because he was the first businessman, the first non-politician, which he is. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that Ronald Reagan was, because Ronald Reagan was actually a non-politician before he actually started politics. He was an actor, for those of you who don't know it. Reagan used to act in Hollywood. Who And who says a Hollywood actor can't be... And who says a Hollywood actor can't be a politician? Reagan proved that. Reagan paid that wrong, and Reagan was absolutely one of the greatest presidents we ever had. <laughs> so, don't doubt him yet guys and for those doubters just watch him wait you can doubt you can doubt him for the rest of your lives you can doubt Trump for all you want it's your choice I'm not telling you guys you guys can side with them if you guys want to doubt him and see what he's going to do and there's some people out there if there's some people out there doubt him they're skeptical be skeptical you have to be you guys can't be if there's one message I want to tell to my fellow Americans out there especially the people in my age group, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Don't be gullible. Listen to the news, read books, read magazines, read everything. Don't be part of the herd. We're not all a bunch of sheep, people. We're not all a bunch of sheep. We're not a sheep following the herd, following the, uh, following a, a sheep herd, following some, um, some shepherd, you know. But obviously, uh, you know, read everything. Don't go oh, every time. Just, just read everything and take everything with a grain of salt, guys. Because you don't know. There's some things that Trump is going to do right, and there's some things that he's going to do wrong. Who knows? And plus, he's Mike Pence, so you can't fault him if he has a political figure with him. Um, but yeah, um, the other thing I had to say, guys, is you know. That is the first time I've ever seen this country speak um, 
in a way that I never thought they would speak. I remember when Obama and Romney went up against each other in 08. No, not 08, 2012. I'm skipping my years here. Um, Romney was leading a lot of, was reading a lot, and then eventually Obama slowly took over. But to see Trump go ahead and then lose it, go ahead and then stay ahead, it's, it's really bad. And you know, uh, for those of you who stayed up for the election the whole night, kudos to you. I did because I wanted to. I wanted to see how ridiculous this was. Um, do I think Trump will be a great president? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. I guess that's probably the moral of this story. For those for those of you protesters out there who protest his presidency, you're protesting the president of the United States. He has not done anything yet. You guys don't know what he's going to do. And if you guys want to protest, so be it. Just protest. Just protest peacefully. And don't cause any ruckus. Don't break any windows. Nothing. You know, it's not... We shouldn't divide ourselves just over one guy, guys. I mean, it's just one guy. I mean, we've already spent doing that over the last... 16 years with uh, Bush and Bush and Obama the last 16 years we we've, we've dealt with that with, with with Bush and Obama it's just not what we should be doing right now and um, you know we gotta we gotta get we just can't we just can't react we just can't be reactive we gotta be active we gotta get together figure out what we're gonna do and decide on a set of standards for our country rolling your head because there's people out there that know what this country is going to have, what this country shouldn't have, what we got to do to make it better, what we got to lose to make it better, what programs do we have to drop, what things do we have to let go, what things we have to uh, change, repeal, um, and do over or just change or amend because a lot of the programs we have right now are amendable. Everything is amendable. Every single law, every single act is amendable. It's the reason why we have the amendments, people. Don't get that. I just don't get it. We, we can amend everything. Now, is it going to be big change? Is it going to be gradual change? Or is it just going to be very slow? I think it's going to be a little bit of gradual change. And I think it's going to be a uh, very long-term change. And I think it could take over four years and then somebody else who probably uh, supposedly a Democrat that knows what the frick they're doing and doesn't fall in the template of Obama and Hillary and doesn't succumb to all the pressures of the, um, the political elite like most people do. Um, that's another thing we have to fear of Trump because he's already a Hollywood elite. He's, he's not a political elite guy. And, well, he is a non-politician, but anyway. Um, but yeah, we should really, guys, what we should be really doing is we should be getting together, we should be reuniting uh, this country and getting it uh, back in one piece again, because if we leave because if we live divided too long, we're gonna bust apart and we're gonna have problems. We're already divided as it is, so let's get undivided and let's do this and make America uh, the, the great nation that it once was, and it always has been a great nation. But let's make it look like the nation that it once was. You know, because this country will always be great no matter what condition it's in. So, um, so that's that. Um, so yeah, my, my message to protesters and supporters, if you guys want to protest, continue to protest. You're just wasting your energy. For those who support Trump, do what you want to do best. You know, um, and the rest of America, spend energy on things that are going to be productive and not things that are going to divide us. We really can't afford that. 
it's almost what the rest of the world wants. You know, they want, they don't want. Uh, there's people out there, there's groups out there that want us divided, broken up, so that they can come in here and you know, if we say divide too long, guys, we could be susceptible to attack. So, guys, our nation's future. rests on what we do over the next couple of years. So yeah. Um love about politics, of course, because it's it's just however we're gonna make this country great again, guys. Let's do it. I hope we can do it. It's in our power. So yeah. Um I've been doing one of these in a long time, guys. I think it's been like I think it's been like 10, I think it's been like 10 days or something like that since I've, I think it's been like 10 days since I've been, uh, 10 entries or 20 entries since I've done one of these. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a long one. I'm probably going to be on another five minutes probably and then we're going to upload it tonight sometime. Um, other news, um, I have just downloaded a um, new game on my 3DS not just Pokemon Sun and Moon but another yeah Yeah, you guys are seeing right, Earthbound. Guys, people have been have been telling me to play this over and over again. I've been watching video reviews on it, let's plays on it, and everything else under the sun. Yeah. So I'm gonna do this now. I'm not gonna let's play it. Um I don't know how to play it. I wanna do a run through it first. Um so yeah, that's what I've been playing uh, for a couple of... Uh, I've been playing it only for maybe 5-10 minutes while I was waiting for uh, to talk to my friend Andrew, who I've been talking... Well, I have, I, I've been texting him and talking to him, but I haven't seen him in a long time. I haven't seen him or talked to him person in a long time, so it'll be nice to do that. We may be getting together on the third. Um, and... Um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting, and I'm enjoying it already. So we'll see what's we'll see what's up about that. And I'm I'm just enjoying playing it. And uh, guys, um, so guys, I want to close the last two minutes saying I just want to for those of you who skipped through the whole um, political thing and didn't watch the beginning of it. Um, guys, I'm not playing Pokemon Sun, I'm not playing Pokemon Moon on, uh, on, I'm not Let's Playing it, because I've just decided, you know, it's, I don't want to do it blind, I, if I'm going to be knowledgeable, if I'm going to be knowledgeable about it, I'm going to play it like I, I'm going to play it like I would, and I'm, you know, I just, I'm going to leave it to the guys who can play it well and have the recording equipment. Pokemon Y is... I just want to finish Pokemon Y, guys. And that's all I want to do. Uh, it's depressing stuff, guys. Don't worry. It's not an April Fool's joke tour for that. But anyway. Um, but yeah, guys. I'm going to end it here for uh, this this edition of uh, Kumo's Block here on Entry 167 leave. So yeah, everybody, as always, long live America, God bless America, long live my grandfather, oh, long live democracy, long live my grandfather's spirit, my grandma's spirit, amen to both of them, thank you, have a good day. Mike, come out here on November 16th, 2016, thank you very much, have a good day. Mike, come out here for another night chat, signing out. Alrighty, guys, I've already talked enough. Mike, come out here.
Brian Tree 167. Mike Moselock here.